Okay. Um, today we're talking about, you know, sharing the presentation, um, being able to do an effective presentation and be able to close business in your, in your organization, in your business, right? Um, and you've got one of the critical keys or components to building this business, guys, is showing the information. Think about it. If no one saw a presentation, no one would be on this call. You had to see some type of information in order for you to be aware of this academy or this opportunity for you to be a part of it. So what I want you to understand, guys, is that you got to be sharing the plan. Presentations have to be going on in the organization at all times. All right. You have, you have, to, you have to accept that right now. You have to. You have to start sharing the plan. Guys, I'm going to tell you all something that's going to make a lot of y'all say, whoa. If you are not sharing the plan, presenting the information yourself right now, you don't have ownership of your business. You're not, you're not a self-sufficient business. You're dependent on someone else to show the plan for you. See, guys, you got to think about it. You're an independent business owner. So if you're a business owner, you have to own your business and you are responsible for what happens in your business. Guys, if no one's showing the plan in your organization, can your business grow? Yes or no? Because no one's going to see the presentation. No one's going to see the information. People won't know we exist. Now, if you are on this call and you're, you're, you're dependent on someone else, you've just been inviting to a call. That's where you start, but that's not where you stay. Guys, I believe you should only be inviting to a call your first week in this business. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Because this is the, the season we got to up it. We say we want supernatural growth, supernatural increase. You got to be willing to set the bar, set the standard a little higher. You should only be inviting to a call solely your first week. Why? Because you don't know the information. You probably only heard it once. I tell y'all all the time, when I first got started in this business, September, 2019, I got started on a Tuesday. My first presentation Mr. Owens did was a Thursday. That Tuesday, when, when I left the meeting, he was like, okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna show the plan on Thursday. I'm gonna get some people on a call, write a list. Thursday, two days later, he did the presentation. I hosted it. I had to be on Zoom hosting the call. I had to edify him to my prospects the first, the first day. Why? Because the people that I was inviting, they don't know Justin. They knew me. So if they just hopped on a call and just, you know, Mr. Owens was the only face they saw, they would be like, where's Sophie? She invited me. You, you, I, you know, she piqued my interest telling me she's working on a project. But who's this guy? Thursday, he did. He showed the, the plan. He said, okay, we're going to do another one on Saturday. Saturday, he showed the plan. He said, okay, we're going to do another one on Monday. So I'm inviting, I'm inviting, I'm inviting. Monday afternoon, we're supposed to have the presentation at 7 p.m. Monday around 4. He said, Sophie, you got the first half. He didn't ask me. He didn't say, are you ready? I had just lined up for a presentation at 7 and at 4. He told me I had the first half. What could I say? I said, all right. <laughs> All right, I heard it twice. The slides don't change. I had to do it. Was I good? No, I sucked. It was horrible. It was horrible. But guess what? I did what I could do. People were there. I did what I can do. Had about maybe 12, 15 people on that call. When I got to the second half where the, where the price is, I passed it over to Mr. Owens. He cleaned up my mess, closed it, and people joined the business. What does that mean? That means that you can do the presentation and totally suck at it, if you have, you know, your coach who will go and do split the presentation with you the first few times you do it, guys, they're there to clean up the mess. I just talked about this on a training earlier today. Overthinking equals inaction. Write that down. Overthinking equals inaction. What does that mean? When you overthink, you do nothing. Because some of y'all on this call, you've been here six months, you've been here a year, you ain't showing the plan. I don't know why. The only reason why you're not showing the plan is one reason. You think you gotta be perfect. You won't ever be perfect until you do it. You won't ever be perfect, period. But the only way you're gonna get close to perfection is by doing it over and over and over because every time you do it, you improve. See, 
y'all thinking that you can just think it through and, and the, the more you think about it, the better you're gonna be when you do it the first time. No, you're gonna suck regardless. So if you start today, if you start next month, the first one's gonna be bad, it's okay. But the only way to get better is to start. Okay, the only way for you to get better is to start. Write that down in the chat. Say, I have to start. I have to start. You gotta start. The first time is gonna be rough. But the thing about it is y'all, most of y'all, you're gonna do, you're gonna do fine. You think you're gonna do worse than you will, but you're gonna be fine. Will it be perfect? No. Will you miss some stuff? Yes. But guess what? The people who are who you're presenting the information for, they, they don't know what you're supposed to say. They don't know you mess up. They didn't, they don't know you missed a whole slide. Only you know. They don't. They're just absorbing, listening to the information. See, I'm a big believer that if you've been on a presentation more than three times, you know the information. Guys, y'all, what, okay, what's the first slide in the presentation? Everyone on this call has been on a presentation several times. What's the first slide? Y'all don't even need to see the presentation. You know it, it's the cash flow quadrant, right? It's the cash flow quadrant, four ways to make money. Guys, the slides don't change every day. It's the same slides. I've been saying the same presentation for two years straight. It doesn't change. You know it. Someone, go. everyone, drop in the chat for me. What are the four categories of the cash flow quadrant? Give me the four, four categories. Drop it in the chat. What's the first one we talk about on the presentation? Employee, y'all didn't have to look at your notes, right? Y'all didn't have to look at your notes. Employee, then after employee, what do we talk about? Self-employed, then after self-employed, what do we talk about? Business owner, then after business owner, what do we talk about? Investors, y'all, y'all know the cash flow quadrant. You know it, you know. Only thing you need to know about that slide, guys, is what the four quadrants are. And you just, you, you just told me. You just told me the four quadrants. You know it. Everyone on this call can do the cash flow quadrant on the presentation now. You just proved to me you know what it is. Now, the only thing you got to do is explain what each one is. Everyone on this call knows what an employee is. What's an employee? An employee is someone who has a what? A job. They work for someone else. They exchange time for money. Trading time for dollars. Right? Y'all know that. Guys, if that's the only thing you say on that slide, mission accomplished. Because you're just breaking down. An employee. The only thing I would say, and I hope you all are taking notes. The only thing that I would add on the employee uh, slide is this. Most of you on the call probably have a job. Like you want to actually make people aware where they're at in the quadrant. That's it. So you're just telling them an employee, you know, an employee is someone who trades times for dollars, someone who has a job. Most of you on this call probably have a job right now. You know, where you're exchanging time for money. If you go to work, you get paid. If you don't go to work, what happens? You don't get paid. Then you want to tell them, okay, on the employee slide, you also want to, want to mention to them that this is a dangerous way to live, but this is where 60% of the world is. How do you know it's 60%? The slide says it. I'm going to bring up slides, okay? I'm going to make this so simple for y'all. Y'all going to be kicking yourself like, I can't believe I've been playing with the presentation all these months, all these weeks, and I know the information. Okay? Cool. So 60% work for, work for someone else, work a job. You don't have to remember the statistic out your head. It's on the slide. Just read it. Okay? You also want to let people. So here's what you want people to know in this, on this. Uh, here's the psychology behind this cash flow quadrant slide, guys. You just need to identify the four, area, the four types of, four ways we make money, right? And you need people on the call to identify which, where they are at. 99% of the time, people on the call are on the left side of the quadrant. They're either employees or self-employed. 
That's the whole goal. See, if you start going through these slides with an intention, it ain't to just memorize, you know, what I said. It's, it's the intention behind it. Your goal for the cash flow quadrant is to show people there's multiple ways to make money. One side is better than the other, and most of us are on the wrong side. Do I make myself clear? Do you guys get that? Yes. Perfect. Right? Perfect. Guys, that's literally the whole point of the cash flow quadrant. It ain't to sound smart. It ain't to buy time. It's literally for people on the call to identify that they're on the left side of money, the wrong side of money. And we got to tell them that they got to transition to the right side of money. So what's the difference between the left side and the right side, guys? The left side or the wrong side is we exchange time for money. You go to work, you get paid. You don't go to work, you don't get paid. Another thing that's key on the wrong side of money, okay, is that your income is directly affected by your effort. Write that down. It's called Y-O-E, your own efforts, okay? The left side of money is dependent on your own efforts. If you have zero effort, you get zero pay. That's the whole point you're trying to drive across to someone on the call is that they're on the left side of money and their income is dependent on them. On the right side of money, the business owner and investor quadrant, business owners, okay? Business owners leverage other people's efforts, OPE, other people's efforts. Business owners have employees. They're leveraging other people. That's the only thing you need to know, guys. And a good thing to throw in there, something I throw in there, I like to tell them because we understand most people on the call are employees. I say to them, listen, if you're an employee on this call today, you're being leveraged by your boss. You, wanna, you want them to, you want them to hit home. You have to go to work every day. They don't, but their money is being made. It just makes them see, boy, you're right. That's all. Guys, through an entire presentation, you want to be saying things where the where the person on the other end of the of the of the Zoom is saying, boy, she's right. That's true. That's all you want. The whole presentation. You want people saying, that's true. You're right. That's me. That's what you want because by the time you get to the end of the car, the end of the end of the uh, conversation, they don't identify that they need this. They're ready to join. <laughs> okay. So business owner is OPE, other people's efforts. And then that leads us to the 1%, which is the investor, okay? Which leverages money. Money making money. That's all you gotta remember for investors. Investors are people who use money to make more money. That's all you gotta say. Guys, if you, I don't care how short your presentation is. If you come on the cash flow quadrant slide, Guys, tell me if this is effective. I'm going to be real. If I was brand new and I hopped on, and I'm saying this for the first time, I'd be like, listen, guys, you know, what I want to share with you all is a, um, a concept called the cash flow quadrant. There's basically four ways we make money. Most of us on the call are probably in, you know, the first, the first area, which is called a, an employee, right? This is where you exchange time for money. Uh, this is where, you know, your income is, is directly affected by your, the hours you work, right? You go to work, you get paid. You don't go to work, you don't get paid. Now, there's going to be other people on the call who are in the, the second section. It's called the self-employed quadrant. These are your, you know, think about some hair, your hairstylists, your, your barbers, your videographers, your photographers, right? These individuals work for themselves, but think about it. If they don't work, they also don't get paid. So if you think about it, everyone on this left side of the quadrant or what I like to call the wrong side of money, their income is directly impacted by their efforts. Most of you on this call today are probably in one of these two categories. Am I right? Then you've got the right side of money. These are your business owners and your investors. See, the difference between the people on the wrong side and the right side of money is simple. Business owners, they're able to leverage other people's efforts, right? They don't have to physically show up to their business, but they have employees who do. So whether or not they're present or not, money is being made. Then you've got the investors. 
investors, I mean, this is, this is the 1%. These are just people who make money with money. And that's where we come in today. Guys, that's it. Like I be going deeper and stuff on the presentation. It's because I know the information so I can do that. When you're new, just, just share the info. Just share the information. Cash flow quadrant. Okay, break down the four ways you make money. Boom, I talked about all four. Boom, next slide. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to everyone? Who on this call thinks if with a little bit of practice, you could do the cash flow quadrant? Just keep it real. Do you have to do it per perfect? No, but can you do it? Yes. Guys, you don't have to be in IM Academy for six months to be able to do the cash flow quadrant. Most of you guys can do the cash flow, probably do the cash flow quadrant after one, the presentation you saw when you joined, and after maybe hopping on one after you got started. You don't need to do it. Oh, you, you got it. You know it. It's only four categories. You y'all already knew what they were. You just talk a little bit about each one. That's it. Now, after the cash flow quadrant is when we dive into where we're going to start to teach them about you know foreign exchange. Now, here's what I like to use as a little transition from this slide to the next. So when I tell people, hey, you know, the 1%, the investors, investors are simply people who use money to make money. And I, I, I use an example for myself. I say, listen, when I first saw this information, you know, I understood that I wanted to make money with money, but I just didn't have any money. So what was I going to invest in? I'm sure some of you on the call today probably feel exactly the same way. Then I'll ask a question. So when you hear the word invest, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Go ahead and drop it in the chat. And y'all really do it. Drop it in the chat. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word invest? And this is literally what I would say in a presentation. You think wealth, you think stocks, money, right? I think real estate. You think money, right? So you, I basically would see what they say. Okay, yes, I thought the same exact things. I thought stocks, thought I needed a lot of money. I thought about real estate. But guys, what I didn't understand was that there are lots of other investment vehicles that you can invest in with as little as $50. Guys, that's key. You want to basically let them know that there's other investments that they can invest in where they can start making money with money and they don't need to have thousands of dollars. As little as 50 or 100 bucks. See, when you say that to someone on a call where this is new, they're like, okay, I can find 50 or 100. I might have 100,000 for, for, for real estate. I might have 1,000 for stocks, but I, I, I probably could find 50. Do you guys understand the psychology of that? See, your whole goal is to let them know that I'm talking to you. Because remember, what is our goal throughout the presentation? For them to say, okay, that's me. I can do that. I can do that. Okay. So when you say that, you know, I, there are different investment vehicles that, you know, we can start investing in as little as 50 bucks. The first one I want to talk to you all tonight about is something called foreign exchange. Okay. Now, everyone, this is interactive. Okay. When you hear foreign exchange, just from what you know right now, go ahead and drop in the chat some stuff that pops in your mind when you hear Forex. Like, what could you possibly say on this slide? And you hear foreign exchange, different countries. Okay, what else? Come on, y'all, participate. I am selling currencies. Currencies, check ins accounts, exchange of money, right? The ability to buy and sell one currency for another. Yes. When I, when I hear foreign exchange, just because I hear this, this so much times, first thing comes into mind is, largest financial market in the world, right? $6 trillion. And if you didn't know that, y'all, the next slide says it. It's a $5 trillion per day market, okay? So you just have to, it's open 24 hours, five days a week, right? All different countries have money. Y'all see, y'all know, know the information. Now all you gotta do is say it. And just say it in a, in a tone where you're teaching someone. See, the, the reason for the presentation is for you to teach the person on the other end of the Zoom because they don't know. And I want you to always do your presentations from the fact where the person has no clue what you're talking about. 
So break it down super, super, super simply. So what could you say? Listen, the first market that I want to talk about, you know, tonight is something called foreign exchange, also known as Forex. Okay. So guys, all foreign exchange is the ability to buy and sell one country's currency for another. It's, the, it's basically the exchange of money. This market is the largest financial market in the world. It does be about 6.6, it's a $6.6 .6 per day market that you can access from anywhere in the world. It's bigger than the stock market. I'm just doing what you guys, I'm just typing what y'all say in the chat. This market is open 24 hours, five days a week. And because of the, you know, the, the internet, we're able to actually participate in this market from our smartphones. Guys, if I just said that and I just read everything y'all said, I didn't say nothing extra. Did I do a good job? I did. Just explain foreign exchange. You see how when I'm saying that you guys are overthinking this? You're thinking you got to say like the right word. There are no right words. The right words is just once what you're saying is facts. You don't have to say it the way I say it. You just got to say those things. That's all. Largest market in the world. Six trillion dollar per day market. Right? Exchanging one country's currency for another. That's all. Guys, when you're going to start to interject little stories and stuff, it's after you've got comfortable. But in the beginning, just talk, just tell the facts. Read the slide. Okay? So after you say all of that we just said, guys, then you would say what? Then we have another market. It's called digital currencies. Another thing you can invest in. It's called digital currencies. I always say anyone on the call has heard about cryptocurrency? Have you heard about Bitcoin? People are going to be in the chat. Yes, I have. Right? You say, listen, this is another trillion dollar market. And literally read the slide that's setting the stage for how we're going to handle it, for how everyone will handle money in the future. That's it. That's what digital currencies is. Then you can ask them something about, listen, I'm sure you've noticed that the world is going cashless. Right? We use debit cards, credit cards. We use apps on our cell phone. So you want to get educated about digital currencies because whether you like it or not, it's here and it's here to stay. So how do you get educated? With our platform. With our platform, okay? What is our platform called? I Am Mastery Academy. Right? Look at, look at the slide. I Am Mastery Academy. Academy. What we've done is simplified learning. We're going to teach you how to master the markets. We're going to teach you how to build wealth and how to create freedom. Guys, I read it from the slide. We are an online learning platform. We're an online school. We're an online academy, whatever you choose. And we have three different curriculums that's going to teach you how to invest. Y'all following me? So on this slide, someone asked, how do I get started? You mean like on this slide? So on this slide, what I would say is, listen, so after I talk about, you know, the world is, is moving away from cash and, you know, digital currencies is really the way of the future. So what I would recommend is that you start to get yourself educated on how these markets work. See, I'm a part of a platform called I Am Mastery Academy. We've simplified learning. We're going to teach you how to master the markets. We're going to teach you how to build wealth and show you how to create freedom in your life. We've got three different curriculums that you can choose from that's going to teach you how to invest. And then what do you think you do next? You just tell them the three curriculum, <laughs> right? We've got a foreign exchange academy. It's going to teach you about money, different countries, currencies. It's going to help you understand when the market is going up, when it's going down. You make money whether the market is going up or down, but you need to get educated to know how this works. We also have a digital currency academy. This is where we're going to teach you about the future of money. We're going to teach you about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, 
All of these coins you hear on the news and you don't know what they mean, our academy is gonna teach you. We also have our high frequency academy. This is our money in minutes program. Guys, this is literally where you're able to get into the market in one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, make a profit and you can go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Guys, I ain't saying nothing special. I'm reading the slides and I'm just telling them like a one sentence about each thing that you can, you don't have to say what I say, just make something up, but just make sure it's relating to whatever academy you're talking to, you're talking about. Okay, so our curriculums, you know, teach you exactly what you need to know, you know, from the very beginning all the way to the point where you're an advanced pro. So you get access to the education and you're going to get access to, read the slide, live mentorship. The great thing about our live mentorship is it's designed around your busy life and schedule. Guys, I'm reading the slide. Then you just talk a little bit about the mentorship or what about go live. What do you know about go live? Drop in the chat. Tell me one or two things about go live. What would a, 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 a listener, what would be something you'd want to tell a listener about go live? You can access the videos anytime. You've got six and seven, you got six and seven figure earners who educate and teach you exactly what to do. You get to actually trade live along with these educators and they're actually helping you make money live on the sessions. Our go live platform is in 15 different languages. Guys, I'm just reading what y'all putting in the chat. Keep it coming. You can listen live and trade live even while you're on the go. Y'all doing the presentation, I'm just saying it. Y'all giving me the content, I'm just saying it. That's what go live is. You just wanna tell them what it is. You know, you get to trade live with the educators. These are six and figure uh, earners who are actually showing you um, and teaching you exactly what to do. You also get access to technology. You get access to tools. You get powerful tools and strategies that simplify your trading. What do these tools do? The tools basically, you know, analyze the market for you and it tells you when to get in, when to get out. So literally, if you're able to follow instructions, if you understand how to use these tools, you can be profitable. Another thing I forgot to tell you guys is every session is recorded. So if you miss a session, you can go back and rewatch it. It's just like Netflix. It's available to you on demand. Y'all, I'm putting what's in the chat. And y'all ready to sign up, <laughs> right? Yeah, Edo, I like that. I got to add that in my presentation tonight, right? You can rewatch. I always forget to say that, right? You can rewatch the sessions if you miss it. Y'all see how this isn't that hard, right? You just want to talk a little bit based on what you know about each slide. Use the slide as your guide. <laughs> that rhymes, right? Use the slide as your guide, y'all. Use the slide as your guide. Just add on a little bit to just kind of explain a little bit. Don't go, don't, oh, listen to me. Let me tell y'all how this, go, this is going to be a, a piece of cake for y'all. Don't view the presentation like you, a sales pitch. We aren't selling nothing. We're just telling someone what the platform is. You ain't trying to sell them. You're just trying to explain to them what Go Live is. It's so where you get to make money with six and seven figure educators who are trading live with you. The strategies, the tools we get access to, they help us, you know, identify opportunities to make money in the market. One of the things I love most about the platform is that we're able to learn and earn on the go. See, when you're part of our community, when you become a part of our academy, you're going to get trade ideas that are sent directly to your phone. So you're never missing an opportunity to make a profit. Our software available on Apple or Android. So it doesn't matter what phone you have, you can actually use our platform. As I'm just reading the slides. You can even say, we've got tools like Swipe Coins, Gold Cup, Swipe Coin. Some of y'all like, where you see that? It's right here on the picture. 
swipe go trade, <laughs> swipe trades, swipe go cup, swipe going. Just read the slide and sound excited. It's all about your tonality, guys. It's because I sound excited. I sound confident. But I'm saying exactly what y'all putting in the chat. You guys are doing the presentation. I'm just speaking it. I'm dictating it. But you guys are giving me the content. Next slide. What does this slide represent? Let's see who knows. What does this slide, what time is it when you see this slide pop up? It's testimonial time. It's testimonial time. Guys, let's try to like set the standard and keep a standard in this organization. Let's aim to have two, present two testimonials per presentation. Okay? Two testimonials per presentation, okay? Let's try to make that a standard. So guess what? If you're presenting the information, find two people in your group who can do a testimony. Doesn't have to be, a, it's not about how much money they made. It's anyone who got a result, okay? That provides social proof. That allows the person who is listening to see that this is real, that you ain't selling them a dream. You bring in our real people who got a real result. That removes skepticism, okay? Now, here's the testimonial questions. Write these down. Everybody who does a testimonial, it needs to be 60 seconds or less. Short. Okay, we ain't here to talk all night. Short. Okay, if you want to talk all night, do the presentation. Don't be the testimonial. <laughs> right? So here are the three questions you want to ask of the person, and you want to prep them for the testimonial beforehand. Okay? How long have you been in the academy? Okay, how long have you been in the academy? What's been your biggest day trading? And what's your favorite product? Okay, how long have you been in the academy? What's your biggest day trading? And what's your favorite product? That's all you got to answer. Your testimonial, if you're going to be a testimonial, guys, only answer those questions. Don't answer more than that, just that. So you want to say something like this. Hey, everyone, you know, thank you so much for having me on the call. You know, I've been a part of the Academy for six months. My biggest day trading so far has been $43. And my favorite product is go live because I love to be able to just make money with the educators, you know, on my lunch break. Man, thank you so much. Y'all, it's done. It's over. You don't have to keep going. Your testimonial is not there for you to tell them they should do this. They'll get that. Okay. So guys, don't say to people on the testimonial at the end, guys, you really should do that. Now we're selling. We're not selling anything. Just answer the questions. What's your products? What's your favorite product? What's your biggest day trading? How long have you been a part of the academy? Answer those questions and just leave. We don't need you to try to close it for us. If I told you, if you want to try to close it out, do the presentation. Don't be the testimonial. All right? Here's another thing, guys, that you want to be mindful of. Okay? If it, your favorite product has to be a product. I don't want you to say your favorite product is the mentorship because people don't care about this at this part of the presentation. They want to know, are you making money? Have you made money? They don't care about community. They don't care about the, the family vibe. None of that. They don't care about that at this point in the presentation. Only thing they're caring about right now, does this thing work? Are you seeing results? Everyone got that? So you always want to just answer the questions to the point, guys. Okay, because we want to keep this thing rolling. Remember, there's people who are on the other end of the, of the presentation, the guests, they're looking for anything to solidify their skepticism. So the moment you push too hard, they're like, I know they was trying to sell me something. I knew it was something. So we can't give them that. Answer the questions and keep it moving. The presenter know how to close it out at the end. Your job as a testimonial is just to be the testimony. Deal? So... After we've got the testimonials and we've shown real people getting real results, now we move to the money. Now, if you're new, keep this in mind, okay? If you're new and you're new to the presentation, and let's say you start to do the first half with your coach, with your mentor, or whoever you're, 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 you're doing your reps with, this is the slide where you're going to turn it over, okay? So if you're doing the first half of the call, guys, after the testimonials, it's time to pass it on to whoever's going to close the call up. 
Here's why. If you're new and you're still building confidence in your presentation, the slide that intimidates most people most is the money slide. Because you're like, oh my God, I got to tell them this cost $235. That's so much. Guess what? You think it is a lot. So guess what? That's going to be transferred to your prospects. So if you still think that 235 is a lot, you ain't ready to talk about this slide yet. Let someone else do it. Because I'm telling you, your energy is contagious. If you've got reservations about the price, the person on the other end of the presentation is going to have reservations too. That's why when you see me get to the slide and I start to talk about the price, James has a good segue into this, actually. He tells you what this type of education would cost you outside of the academy before he even brings the slide up. So he'll say to you guys, listen, if you want to have the type of results that so-and-so just talked about and had, if you want to be able to make you know, $500 in a day like Chi-Chi did at the doctor, right? what you want to do is you want to get access to the skill set. Now, if you were to go out here and look for Forex mentorship, it could cost you anywhere between twenty dollars and $50,000 for a Forex course. Go Google it when you get off the call. But we didn't want to do that to you. We wanted to make this super affordable so that every household, every person on this call can afford to learn this skill. Guys, you can get started in our academy for only $235. Okay? 200, I, I, I always say for only. I say only because I want them to feel like it's only. If I say, guys, you can get you know, access to this academy for 235. They're like, well... <laughs> Right? You got to have confidence. Who on this call thinks that our program is valued more than $235? If you do, drop a seven in the chat. I know it's worth more than $235. So when I come on here, I ain't care. It's $235. You know that people spend far more on far less. So you got to know what you sell it. You got to know the information that we're sharing. You got to have confidence and posture when you're sharing this information. Y'all, it's only 235. And I say it all the time. Ladies, some of y'all on this call, the bundles in your hair is more than 235. Manicure, pedicure, hair done, more than that. Fellas, come on. Look at your outfit right now. Probably more than 235. Got on a polo shirt, it's $80. Jordan's on your feet, 200. You spend 235. Now we're going to show you how to invest 235. So you can get a return on your money over and over and over again. Guys, it's all in your posture. Don't be scared to ask for the money. Because this is worth way more than we charge for it. Know that. Believe that. That's going to start to transfer into your actual presentation. I saw James saw some said something. Let me say, when I hear product, I think strategy or app. I don't consider the academy or go live products. Am I wrong? Um, well, I, I product is... So product is like Gold Cup, strata, but I do let people say go live because go live is a product because a lot of people don't use Hourglass or nothing. They use go live and go live gets people paid. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. But a product is really like Gold Cup, Pivots, um, you know, Hourglass, Liberty. But go live is cool too because new people, when they're sharing their testimonials, a lot of people get their first result from go live. So I see it as a product, okay? Good stuff, good stuff. So guys, you just want to go for the money. Tell them it's only 235. And I repeat what you get. It's only 235 to get access to the education, to get access to the mentorship where you're able to trade live with millionaires. You get access to all of the products, all the apps, all the tools for just 235 and then 175 a month. Guys, 175 a month is less than $6 a day. Come on, you spend more than $6 a day on food. You spend more than $6 a day on coffee. You're not willing to send, invest $6 a day on yourself to get access to a platform that's going to make you money every day, to make you $40 like so-and-so just said, to make you $400 like so-and-so just said. See, guys, you at this point, you're tying it all together that, listen, you're making a small investment to get the type of results that you just heard in the testimonial, because that could be you too. Make sense? Now, and I'll have, if James doesn't mind, James, you're in a position to this Thursday. He might be at practice, though. But, no, I'm good. We actually okay. canceled practice because of the storm in the area. Okay, cool. Okay. I mean, sorry y'all have a storm, but good. I'm glad you're here. James, yeah, kind of just tell me, because I've I, I been trying to mimic your top-down analysis of the 
you know how you go for elite first and then can you kind of just share what, what how do you how do you spin that on this part of the presentation um so one of the main things is, is to consider um is to introduce it with the time frame uh then break it down in terms of price per month price per day whatever is feasible for your audience okay. highly recommend it and then ask for the sale so give me an example of what that looks like or what that all right sounds. so so you can say um you know for 324.95 um you get x x y and z you know it's only about nine dollars and three cents a day i highly recommend it you should definitely take advantage of this if you can Y'all heard it? So he, he basically, he goes for the elite first. So he's like telling you, listen, you can get access to everything that we talked about in this academy with our elite uh, uh, with our elite academy, which is the best bank for your buck. It's only $3.25 to get started, which is about $9 a day. I really, really highly recommend this way you get started. And then how, how do you segue into the others? Into like the, the, the lower, up, um, the a la carte curriculums, James? Uh, then I just kind of be a little nonchalant with it. You know, if, you know, we do have other ways that you can get started as well. You know, if you want to cherry pick, you can uh, pick the foreign exchange academy or the digital currency academy or the high frequency academy separately. You know, you'll still get a strategy. You'll still get the go live platform associated with it. Then give them the price. But y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard his tonality. It was almost like, you know, you can still get started another way. I mean, you still get one little strategy, right? Because he's trying to pump for the value for people to go for a leap. And with this promotion that we have now, guys, they can get the elite. They can get started for the elite of, at what it costs per month. We got to be pushing the leap this month, y'all, for the month of July. Push elites. James is the number one enroller of elites in, in, in our organization. Most of his people are on elite because he pushes the elite. And I realized that I got that from him is that, so you ain't pushing elite. And the reason I wasn't pushing elite guys is I thought I'm a student. When Mr. Owens does the presentation, he doesn't push elite either, right? He pushes like one strategy, right? Um, and I just was following suit. But when I saw James switch it up and then he was just enrolling elites, I was like, I gotta start pushing elite. So you better I, believe I, for the month of I July. Jeff, for the first time this past Monday, but I can't take the credit for pushing elite. So you gave me that idea <laughs> oh, on one-on-ones. And ever since you said it to me, I started doing it. See, see, guys, and he, he just rolled with it. Now I'm taking it from him. I'm like, okay, I got to push elite. I got to start with the elite. You got to make people feel like the best bank. Because think about it. And the way, the reason I asked James to share is because the way James positions it in his presentation, he always prefaces this slide with what it would cost you otherwise. So when you think about getting access to Forex mentorship or learning the skill for 20, 30, $40,000, and then you come to 325, that's like nothing. You know what I'm saying? So 30,000 or $300. So now $300 sounds, sounds attractive. And because he breaks it down that way, that's the first thing that pops in your mind. Then he says, you know, you know, you can definitely get started another way by picking one of the packages. Um, you know, you still get go live. You still get a strategy. I mean, it's 235 to get started, you know, for one of them. But if you can definitely fit it into your budget to get started at the elite, that's definitely what I would recommend. So we're pushing the elite. Okay. Once you go over here and break it down, and I, I would always tell y'all, it makes a big difference when you break that monthly down into a daily goal. Because people, it's attainable for people. When they hear 275, they're like, what, $300 a month, what? But when you say that's $9 per day, they're like, well, maybe I can do $9 a day. Same thing with the 175. I've closed so many people after they realize it's only $6 a day and they spend more than that on food or lunch. They're like, okay, well I can, okay, $6 ain't that much. See, it's all about putting things in perspective. It's about how we position the information, right? So after they know how much it costs, my line is, but who on the call, right? Likes free. Everyone likes free, right? I know I love free. So what if I, what if there was a way for you to be able to get that monthly tuition free for you every single month? Would you want to know how to do it? Absolutely. Well, we've got a two and free scholarship program. Okay. 
What this means is that you can actually get your monthly tuition waived by just referring two friends or family members to our platform. Just think about for a second, who do you know right now that wants to make extra money, that needs to make extra money, or who's been interested in investing, but just didn't know how to get started? But what you do is you get them on a call just like this one, show them what you saw, they get started, now your monthly tuition is 100% free. Now you're able to learn and earn at no cost to you. Guys, that's an absolute no-brainer. See, you, you're trying to push people in this. In the presentation, guys, you're leading people to a decision. You're trying to almost make them feel like you crazy if you don't do this. And some of y'all who be on my calls a lot, depends on what type of mood I'm in on a particular call, I almost make them feel stupid for not doing this. Like sometimes that's my posture. That's intentional. I'm like, if you don't join, you you just a fool, <laughs> right? So it works, it works, but it's because of the way that I am leading them throughout the conversation. Write this down in your notes, on the top of your notes. A, B, C, always be closing. Always be closing. What does that mean? When you're presenting this information, guys, everything you say has to be in tension with this person is signing up at the end of this call. You're always closing. So I'm telling you, listen, it's a no brainer. And I'm speaking to you with a spirit of expectation of when you get started, not if you get started, when you get started. Like when you get started, listen, when you get started, we're going to have you profitable just like so-and-so in the testimonial was in your first 72 hours. I can't wait. I'm celebrating you in advance. Always be closing. Then after two or three guys, it's the IBO part. Now, let me tell y'all a joke. Even though we spent, look at it, y'all. We spent 13 slides on the products and services. And it's literally four slides on the business part. People act like the only thing we ever talked about was referring people. Y'all ever realize that? <laughs> it's like, were you on the presentation? Like all you heard was referral? And over and over on this slide, I say, this is optional. Y'all, I've started making people say optional in the chat. I'm like, can you repeat after me, optional? Because they just like, they missed the whole 45 minutes. And the only thing they hear is, I do the whole presentation that people ask in the chat. Can you make money trading or do you have to refer? I'm like, where the hell were you the last 30 minutes? <laughs> right? And the reason that happens, guys, is because people are listening selectively. They only want to hear what they want to hear, which is, I knew this was one of them things I had to refer someone. We told them about, you, sh you get them on testimonial after testimonial. Nobody talked about referring a soul, but they think you got to refer to make money. The only thing they hear is referrals. So on this slide, I always say, guys, and then it gets one step better. Now, this is not required. This is not mandatory. This is optional. Go ahead and drop optional in the chat. Like I make them say optional. James, I like that. He said it's optional and you can literally be as selfish as you want. You don't have to tell anyone about anything. You can make your money in silence and you can keep it that way if that's what you want to do. But if you don't want to be selfish, selfish and you prefer to be a little bit more selfless and actually help to educate and empower others around you, you can actually become an independent business owner with our platform and every person that you refer, you can actually start to get paid. You can't do this tonight, actually. Everyone starts as a customer, but down the line, you can speak with your sponsor and find out how to be an independent, how you can become an independent business owner. I even throw in sometimes, guys, I'll be honest with you, 80% of people I share this with, they don't do this. They just make their money in the markets. They just trade. They just use the products and services. And that's fine. But there's going to be a couple of people on the call who are kind of like me. I know a whole lot of people that can benefit from learning this skill. And the company told me they were going to pay me to do this. I was going to refer this for free. So I said, show me how this works. That's all it is, y'all. You just want to stress to them. They don't have to do this. Y'all, everyone bite that line from James. Okay, it's optional. And you can literally be as selfish as you want. Guess what that does? That makes someone say, I ain't selfish. I'm sharing this. I'm not selfish. You're calling me selfish, Willis? Right? <laughs> you can literally be as selfish as you want. So that gives them, it makes it really clear to them 
that this is optional and they don't have to tell anyone. But they actually will want to tell someone because no one wants to be called selfish. So now you let them know, listen, it's just like everything else we refer. You refer Netflix, you refer movies. We refer people all the time and we do it for free. Now we have the opportunity to get access to a platform that's helping us make money and we can actually help someone else make money too and get paid for it. Guys, this is a win-win. Never seen anything like this. Here's how it works. See, every time you refer someone to our platform and one, in one of our curriculums, company pays you $25. It's a referral bonus. It's a thank you, you know, for referring someone to the platform, for impacting the lives of someone else. Someone gets started for that elite level that I recommend, that actually pays $50. Now, this adds up really, really quickly, guys. But where it really gets important, where it really gets exciting, man, where things start to change is something called residual income. What's residual income? That's just money that you make over and over and over again for doing something one time. Your job doesn't pay you residually. See, at this point, guys, this is where you got to let them know they don't have residual income in their life right now. They don't. Because your job don't pay you residually. Ask them, does your job pay you this week for hours you worked a year ago? Absolutely not. But you got residual bills, right? You got bills that come every month. Why don't you have some residual income? Let me show you how to get some. See, guys, if you go out here and you just personally refer just three customers, right? You refer two, your membership's free. You know more than two people who can benefit from this. You can decide to become a business owner. Now you start getting paid. Two and free is cool, but three and paid is better. You refer your third customer. Now you're earning $150 every single month. Who could use an extra $150 a month? That could buy some groceries. That could pay car insurance. That could be a little nest egg for the next vacation. Guys, you got to cast vision of what they can do with the extra money. That could pay daycare. You go out here and you accumulate 12 customers in your organization. Now, because you've impacted more people, you move from making 150 a month to making 150 dollars every Friday. We get paid every week. That's an extra $600 a month. That's an extra $7,200 a year in your pocket. Guys, what could you do with an extra $7,200 a year? How long would it take you at your job to get a raise of $702? Guys, we're showing you how to do it here, and we can show you how to do this in about 30 days. You go out here and you accumulate 30 customers in your organization. Now you're platinum 1,000. That means now you're making 1,000 a month. That's $250 every Friday. That's an extra $12,000 a year. What could you do with an extra $1,000 a month? But the thing about it is, okay, this is what I've been throwing in my presentation lately. When you start earning this extra $600 to $1,000 a month, guys, don't go shopping. Don't go to the Gucci store. Okay, I know it's extra money, but, but don't go shopping. What you want to do is now the company's paying you $600, $1,000 every single month. You now know a skill set and have access to a platform that allows you to multiply your money. What you do is take this residual, put it in your trading account, and multiply it. Guys, this is how you're going to accelerate everything in your life. This is how you get free. That's the kind of things you want to tell people, y'all. Another thing you want to tell them is, listen, remember, this residual income is extra. This, has, this, this isn't even your trading money. This isn't the money that you're making trading in the market. This is just from referrals. Guys, what I love about this platform is you got two bags of money in one opportunity. It doesn't get better than this. But what I love most, what I love most about the platform is that the more people you impact, the more people you, you empower, the more people you educate and put in front of this information, guys, the more money you make. As your team grows, your income grows. You're able to get to levels of $2,000 a month, $5,000 a month. Because everyone has their eyes on this level called Chairman 10. It's where you start to earn a six-figure income from sharing this information. Imagine what your life would look like with an extra $10,000 a month. 
And now you know how to invest. So now you have money to invest every month. Guys, this is how you create freedom. That's how you want to start to talk to your people on this presentation where they're listening like, what? Man, <laughs> this is good. I need to do this. After you go through all the levels, guys, it depends on the, the call, who's on the call. Sometimes I go all the way up to Chairman 100 with Mr. Owens because you want to edify the type of person you're working with. So you want to say, listen, you know, I'm working with a gentleman. His name is Justin Owens, 34 years old, man. He's making $100,000 a month, multimillionaire at, at 34. His weekly commissions is $25,000. Some people on this call make $25,000 a year. He's doing it every seven days. That's the type of people in your network once you become a part of this academy. I have another gentleman, his name is Mr. David Imanitia. He's off the charts. He's on a level called Chairman 750. That's $750,000 per month. Imagine that, over 187 grand a week. It's 9 million a year. <laughs> how often are you having conversations that's showing you how you can make an extra $9 million a year? Now, is everyone gonna do that? Probably not. But we can show you how to make an extra thousand, two thousand, five thousand. Absolutely. And that's when you know I, I take Mr. Owen's nonchalant clothes. He says to he said, listen, I'm not sharing you know the compensation with you to impress you. I'm just sharing it to impress upon you what's possible for you, what's possible for your family. And and I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't have a fancy clothes for you. I don't. I'm not good at convincing. I'm not good at selling. He literally says that, y'all. He says, I don't have a clothes for you. If it makes sense to you, do it. If it doesn't, don't. But what I can't tell you how to do is we know how to make you, help you make money. But you got to make a decision if that's something you desire. See, think about where you are right now in your life and, and think about where you're headed, all your goals, all your dreams, and ask yourself, do you have a vehicle that's going to take you from where you are to where you're trying to go? And will it get you there in the amount of time that's reasonable for you? See, the answer to that question for me was, I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a vehicle. I, I had a goal, but I don't know how I would ever get there. When I saw this, it made sense. And I said, what's the worst that could happen? I make some money along the way, or I lose 235. It's not life or death. But what I want you to understand is that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. You can't keep doing what you've been doing and expect a different result. That's the definition of insanity. So I want you to understand that in your life, if you want something different, you've got to be willing to do something different. And I'm telling you what it's done for me. I'm telling you what it's done for hundreds of others connected to me. And I want to help it do the same thing for you. So all I need you to do is get back with the person that invited you on this call tonight and let them know, listen, I just want to trade. Or let them know, I want to trade and I want to build a business. Or if you have some questions, let us know because we got some answers. But our goal is to give you the information so that you can make an informed decision for yourself. So guys, I appreciate y'all hopping on the call with me tonight. But, you know, I understand that not everyone's going to do this. This isn't, isn't for everyone. But the people who this is for, man, I'm celebrating you in advance because the next 12 to 18 months of your life is going to be better than the last 12 to 18 years. And I'm excited to be a part of that journey with you. So get back with whoever put you on this call. Let them know you just want to trade. We'll get you set up tonight. Let them know if you want to trade and build the business. Doesn't matter what you choose to do. I want you to choose to do something. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all at the top because the bottom is just way too crowded. Y'all have a good night. Boom. Just like that is over. Just like that. Right? Now, the question is, y'all, right? The slides are your guy. The slides are your guy. The slides are your guide. That's it. Just remember that. Overthinking equals inaction. Don't overthink it. Just read the slides. You're going to get better every time. And I promise you all, I don't care how bad your presentation is. After your third one, someone is going to sign up. I promise you. I promise you. On my, my presentation that I totally sucked, I still got someone started. Why? Because it sucked to me, but it didn't suck to them. They learned a lot. So you got to just know that when you're presenting the information is that you know way more than the person you're talking to. And you're telling the truth. We're not manipulating anyone. We're just telling our experience through this process. You've been on Go Live? Tell them what Go Live is. 
you've used swipe coin or swipe trades or you've been in the telegram group and got a signal and copy and paste just share that and if you're brand new to the presentation start with the first half let whoever it's like you're you're you're, you're on your success team do the second half and then y'all switch and if you're on this call guys and you're a coach right write this down and then we're done okay do okay you got to do it you got to do the presentation first you got to do it once you do the presentation your second step is show you got to show your teammate or whoever you're developing you're going to show them how to do it that's what we're doing on this call tonight right so first you you do it and then you're, you're the person you're developing who you're working with okay they do it with you so that means they do the first half you do the back half then y'all switch you do the first half and they do the back half right so when they're doing their 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 part what you're doing as the coach is you're watching and you're taking some feedback positive feedback and guys if you're the person being developed everything is feedback for your benefit okay there's no failure only feedback we're just going to show you how to get better. Next time we switch. You do the, the, the person does the first half or the coach does the first half. The other person does the second half. You work on your clothes because you got to get a feel for that. Then after that, you do the whole presentation and your coach watches. Then we say, you know what? Grasshopper, you're good. Go ahead. Show the plan. Go ahead and do it. But guys, if you start to do this, man, the sooner you start to do this, the sooner you're going to be able to take ownership of your business and no one's controlling your, 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 your business except you. Because if there's no presentations happening, your business is closed for business. But if there's a presentation happening and you're doing it, you know that you have the opportunity to get new business every day because you're showing the plan. Five to six nights a week, y'all. That's what it takes to go chairman. Five to six nights a week, you've got to be showing the plan. So if you're on the call, guys, and you're not showing the plan, you ain't open for business, really. You could get to a certain level of success just inviting, but you're not going to go to the next level until you start showing the plan yourself. And the sooner you start doing it, the quicker you're going to be able to take control of your business and really explode. Guys, was this useful? Was this helpful tonight? Was this helpful? Yeah. I see Latrice looking like she's saying, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. So guys, like the, 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 the main takeaway, and then I'll open it up for like 10 minutes for questions if you guys have so, is get out of your own head. That's it. Honestly, the only thing stopping you is you overthinking. You think you got to be perfect. You think you got to know every single word. <laughs> no, just read the slides and, and freestyle it. And the more you do it, the more it's going to become your own. And then the more you're going to be a beast at it, I'll tell y'all something. And I'm picking on James because James is one of the coldest presenters in the, in the org. I'll be honest. But I remember when James was doing a six o'clock call that no one used to hop on. We were present, we were doing the eight o'clock call. That was our main like team call. Everyone was inviting their guests to the eight o'clock, but we had a six o'clock call too, but hardly anyone used to hop on. James used to invite his personal guests there, but he was doing the call, but he did it for like months straight. And when I put him on the eight o'clock call, everyone was like, who is this guy? But he got his reps in. He got his reps in. He did the presentation so many times till now. People are like, how did, how did? yo, he put the work in. But in the beginning, he was scared to death. His voice used to be shaking. Now James is just a smooth cat with it. He just smooth. If you ever heard James' presentation, y'all, you need to hear it. Choose Wednesday nights at eight. He's a beast with it. All right? But it's because he actually put those reps in. So what I need y'all to understand is this. Yes, we have, you know, team calls. We have structure within the organization, right? Coach Henry has a call that's running all the time. We have the eight o'clock call that happens, the two o'clock calls. But what that means for you guys on this call is that you've got to find a time outside of those calls where you're running a call. Pick a time and stick to it. Be like, hey, I'm going to do the call one o'clock every day. And in the beginning, guess what? No one may hop on, but here's why people should be hopping on because you should be inviting your own guests. 
When I first got started, and I started after, oh, oh let me, back to the story with Justin. When I did that call that Monday, that I did the first half and he did the second half, he, he never did a call for me ever again. That was it. It was over. I showed him on that call that I could do it. Then he was like, all right, you got it. I had to start building my business. At the time, Justin was doing a call on Mondays at nine. Do you think I could wait once a week to show people the presentation? No, I had to start doing it. And every time I was doing a presentation, it was for two or three people I invited. Y'all don't think a call have to be packed out with 30, 40, 50 people. You grow to that. In the beginning, it's going to be you and your prospect. <laughs> it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one presentation. It's going to be two people on the call. Do it anyway. That's how you get your reps in. But if anyone has some questions, guys, feel free to unmute yourself. Uh, you know, I got about five minutes for questions. If you guys have something, um, let me know. And yes, this recording will be posted. If y'all ain't got no questions, that means I did a good job or something. And the only reason I'm only opening up for like three more minutes for questions is because I got a seven o'clock presentation, an eight o'clock presentation, a nine o'clock, and we get skills camp by 10. So the night is booked out, y'all. So I just want to like, oh, this is what you call trench work. So Sophia, this is Latrice. What's up, Latrice? Um, how you doing? Thank I'm you so flat. much for doing this tonight. I'm, I'm grateful that Coach Henry reached and told us that you were on and that this was going to be an awesome presentation. I mean, an awesome training. Um, when I do, when I, lately, when I've been doing the presentations, I noticed that I feel the urge to switch it up because I feel like a robot at times, like saying it the same thing over and over again. Every now and then, I'll try to like switch up a joke or two or you know something extra like yeah. how do you i mean i know you do it like you said you've been doing it for so long and you getting ready to do three more after this but how do you like to you want to stay genuine and authentic to yourself but you don't want to switch it up so much that you're trying to figure out what you said and what you deleted like how do you does that I, make I, sense I, I totally it makes sense i'm gonna just be okay. real with you i say the same thing every night okay even when I, I, and I, if you've ever heard David in ETA, like I've watched him on different trainings and I'm like, and I've seen him do presentations like two years ago, this year, a month ago. And he still say the same exact joke. He says stuff like, he'll say something at the beginning of the call of, of the presentation. He'll be like, your excitement overwhelms me. And I'm like, he said that every time. Like, so you don't have to switch it up. Like you literally get paid to say the same thing over and over and over again. Like, mm -hmm. now you can't switch it up. So sometimes I do think, be trying to feel it out, but it always goes back to my original. It's like, it's just the script, you know? And it, it's authentic because you're, you're, you're really sharing the information, but you don't have to deviate too much. Guess what? It's boring or monotonous to you, but it's new people hearing you every night. So it's new to them. Okay. So like everyone on this call, I'm going to make watch. Unmute yourselves, guys. How do I start every presentation? Someone, please unmute yourself. I'm sure they can do it. Watch this. I know they, someone on here knows. Welcome to the call. Welcome to the call. <laughs> Outside, welcome. When I start to say, my name is Sophia. My Lightburn. name is Sophia Lightburn, yes. And what else? I'm, I'm from Freeport, Bahamas, but I reside in, in the U.S. In Florida. <laughs> I, moved, I moved to the States a couple of years ago. To chase the American dream, but it was a nightmare. It wasn't a dream at all. <laughs> I said the same thing. I, I said more, the same thing. I had more more bills than um than <laughs> or something like that. More month at the end of my money than money at the end of the month. And I tell a story sometimes about eating Wendy's four for four menu. I was just about to say that one. That's my favorite. <laughs> so I say the same thing, Patrice. I say it over and over. And I know how you feel because sometimes I'm saying, I'm like, I'm sick of this. I need to change this. Then I'm like, yeah. if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay. People still enrolling from it. They don't know my nightmare story. Just the team probably sick of hearing it, but it works. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Great question though. No, awesome. Awesome. Definitely. Anyone else got something? See, y'all, Mr. Owen said it before. You say the exact same presentation for like two, three years straight, just halfway through that process though, you got you start getting a, paid a whole lot more for saying it. So in the beginning, when I was first doing that presentation, I was making what? I was P600, so I was making $150 a week for the presentation. 
I'm saying the exact same. It wasn't a dream at all. It was a nightmare, but it's paying me a whole lot more now. And then I'm going to keep saying it, yo. And then a year from now, it's going to be paying me a whole lot more. Say the same thing. So say the same thing. Okay. Just start. Just start saying it. But good stuff. We got time for one more. Anyone got one more? One more. One more night. Okay, cool. So what I want everyone on the call to do, I want you to pick a date that you're going to start running the play. You're going to start sharing the plan. And I got something for my, my, my boy, Mello, that I'm going to share with you all. Um, I'll drop it in the Telegram group. And Coach Henry, I'll drop it in the leadership group too so I can make sure you get it as well. But check this out, y'all. Y'all going to be so stoked about this. Hang on. Hold on. Where is it at? Boom. Check this out. Check this out. Y'all tell me I'm not the greatest. Okay? Look at this. Boom. This is actually... Like the slides with what to say, word for word. So let's just pull up the, the slide. You can capitalize and tap into digital currency. And an example of this is Bitcoin, the leader in crypto. If you had invested in 2016 in Bitcoin, chances are you made a lot of money. So now you can have a piece of Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Litecoin, and the list goes on and on. See that? What is it? What is it? So what is it that we do? Well, I am Mastery Academy, you know. Uh, we have the Foreign Exchange Mastery Academy that's going to teach you terminology. We're going to teach you how to become a consistent, profitable trader. See, the way our curriculum is set up, it all starts with the Foreign Exchange Mastery Academy. You're going to understand stuff like what's an uptrend, what's a downtrend, Fibonacci reversal. I know it sounds like a lot, but I want you to write this down. Trading isn't hard. It's just new. See, investing is a new language. We're going to teach it to you. We have people that have put their kids inside of the academy and they've started learning with their parents. Imagine where you would be if you learned how to trade when you were a kid. Or we have people who are just getting out of college or going into college, learning how to really master the skill. We have kids that are making more money than their professors. Then we have adults that are able to make money from their cell phones while they're at work. Then we have people that are literally 10 to 15 years away from retirement finding themselves in a situation where they can say, you know what, I can learn this skill and this can put me years ahead to be able to reach my financial goals. Boom, y'all, we got a script for you now. Check it out, check it out. Let me get to the close, right? So let me get to the very end. So y'all can see how this, boom, boom, boom. You know, and ladies and gentlemen, listen, nobody even knows about what's happening right now. This is your opportunity to go out there and do something special in your life. Here's what I want to know for sure. Is, here's what I want you to know for sure, is that us as an organization, as a company, we know how to help you go out there and get results. We have the leadership, we have the right compensation plan, the right systems in place, the products and services make sense. See, the vision for the company is to be able to have an academy where people can learn the skills from the comfort of home, where they can make money by themselves. We talked about digital currency, about Forex, about HFX and e-commerce. All of these will allow you to be able to make money from your home. And all of that is here and it's coming and it's only to get going to get better. The question is, will it be with you? I believe that you can go out there and make a decision, 235, and change your entire life if you go to work. So get back to the person that got you on this call. They're going to tell you exactly what you need to do, how to get plugged into our academy, how to get plugged into our training group, how to get plugged into the curriculum and the systems that we have in place so you can, we can help you out and help you get the results that you want for yourself, your family, and your future. Guys, all you gotta do is read. So you have no excuse. It's fair enough. If you're gonna leave this call tonight and you're ready to start showing the plan, say, I'm ready. Say, I'm ready. All I'm right. ready. All right. I'm ready. That's what I'm about. Ready. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking ready, about. Ready, ready, ready. Ready like I'm ready. ready. <laughs> so y'all, I'm gonna drop that in the group. I'm gonna I'll put the, the link to the slide so y'all can have it on your computer. Get a Zoom link. Zoom is free, guys. You got 40 minutes per session for free. Get Zoom, learn how to use the controls, start inviting people and start showing the plan. You're going to thank me later because your business is going to explode. The people who show the plan the most make the most money. So if you haven't been showing the plan, that stops today. All right? So I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for hopping on. I will drop the, the slides, the script, everything in the chat. Um, and, I, and I'll see you on the 7 o'clock presentation. 8 o'clock, we got 
um, our, our daily call with Jerusha and Alvaro launching. Nine o'clock, we got my tunes and Jamika launching. So, yo, we, 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 we launching. We in launch mode. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Y'all have a good one. Take care.